All right, let's go turn the lights off and see what it does. Yo, that is sweet. That is too damn cool. In this video, I'm going to attempt to do something that I've only done with the Beast Unleashed and the Nasty Beast Hard Tea Hats. I've had this Titleist hat sitting around just way too long. I know if you follow the channel, you've seen some of the, the other video that I posted where I was talking about how the laminate was kind of peeling up. And it's basically just been sitting on the shelf up there collecting dust. Well, not really because I've had it in that bag, but in today's video, I'm going to attempt to install these electroluminescent lights that go around the outside of the brim, just like I did with the Beast Unleashed and the Nasty Beast hats. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to take this apart, which I've never done before. So the first step is going to be removing the stitching that's going around the outside of this and removing this piping and then somehow routing this wire through the back of this and into the inside of this hat so that I can mount this this controller in here and the way that I'm going to mount this this wire is going to be by encapsulating it in this clear vinyl it's intended for outdoor furniture but I bought a yard of it and cut a bunch of strips this is just about an eighth of an uh, an inch and an eighth wide but I'm gonna wrap it around the light and make a clear piping and then I'll stitch it back into this hat and hopefully make the needle go in each individual hole since it's already been punctured through and I'm gonna run the wire up through the middle here so I won't be able to stitch this area so to cover up those holes I will hand stitch a couple passes through there to make it look like it's a continuous stitch and cover those holes up but yeah I'm getting ready to tear this thing apart since it's doing me no good sitting there collecting dust I figured I would experiment and try something new so I guess the first step is going to be tear out all those stitches and see how see how well this is going to come apart I know one of the challenges that I'm going to end up having is feeding this back through the machine with since the hat is already pre-bent like that but we'll see how it goes when I get there pretty sure this is gonna make one hell of a mess with all this thread too. I'll be blowing this stuff out of the garage for the next week. Of course it just landed right on the ground. Alright and of course I've got hot glue in between these two layers so what I'm going to do is use my hot my heat gun and heat that up and hopefully I can get this to separate just like that for the time being because what I need to do first before anything else is I'm gonna Google all over my fingers now 
is get this wire encapsulated into into this to make the piping. And if you're interested in these lights, I got them off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. So far I've had good luck with them. All of them have worked properly upon arrival. When they arrived in good condition, the first set I bought, somebody had already opened them, tried them, and it was missing a pack. It came in a pack of five. And they were kind enough to leave me two AA batteries in the pack that they tried, sampled, so I guess that's a plus. Oh, I've got that stuff everywhere, dude. All right, so what I'm going to do is feed that. If it would stay, that would be great. So this has a connector on it, which connects to this in the proper orientation. I've already got some batteries in there, as you see. You click it, and you can see how it's lit up. And it does different things, it flashes. But what I need to do, since the hat is already made, I'm going to fish this through the back so that that connector is on the inside and I can mount this controller, which this controller has a, a clip on it so you can clip it on your belt. But we'll just take a Phillips head screwdriver and take this little belt clip off and it'll still work properly. And use some double sided tape to stick up in the inside of the hat there. But I'm just going to feed this through. And the good thing is this stuff comes in like a nine foot roll. And I'm not going to need nowhere near that much. The hard part is going to be starting my piping while this is attached to the hat because I'm going to have to get this over to the sewing machine and sew that that uh, nylon on there or vinyl take that back it's not nylon it's vinyl so I think what I'm going to do what I did on those other hats is I left about 12 inches of material on the inside of the hat just in case anything happened I don't know what would happen but just in case I left myself plenty of room on the inside so we'll say 12 inches is about right there well like I said I've got plenty left on the on the back side but this will give me plenty of room to kind of tuck and wind the cable as I see fit once I get all this put back together. All right, so let me show you what I've got set up on the sewing machine. In order to make this work properly, you have to use a walking foot on your sewing machine because if you use just a regular presser foot like this, it likes to stick and drag on this vinyl. So I use the walking foot. It helps push the material through the machine and not get hung up. So make sure that none of this is moved. I still got plenty of slack in there. I gotta get situated here. See if I can get you guys angled up a little bit. Now I like to take my vinyl and kind of drape it over my leg like this. Kind of let it hang, not tangled up, nice and flat. We'll come on the inside of this guy. Should be able to start it about right there. And the thread I'm using is called invisible thread. And it is just that. It is really hard to see. It's very fine. It's smaller than a fishing line. 
very hard to uh, very hard to see. And what I've got my machine set on is my stitches is at the the furthest stitch length, and I've got it on zero. When you move this dial, it moves the position of the needle, and I've got the needle as far right as it will go. And if you pierce through the through the light, it's probably going to ruin it. So be very careful with that. And we'll see what happens here. And what I do is I just kind of roll the vinyl around that wire as I feed it through and the needle kind of pushes it against the outside there and makes a little pocket. All right, to be honest, thank goodness I'm done with this stuff. I really need a thread management system for it because it likes to curl up on itself and if it comes off of the spool while it's sewing it wraps around this little post that's in here and then it likes to rip and if I let go of this little tail on this bobbin it will fly everywhere and come unraveled so what I do is keep a piece of tape and make sure that it stays secure on that bobbin. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and uh, put this green thread on here. Because that's what I'm going to go back around the hat with is the green. If you have a Gen Genomi HD 3000, it rotates in this direction in the shape of a P, if you can remember that. Pull those to the back. Now let's take a look at this situation here. So I'm going to start this right here in the middle and then when I come around to the other side I will terminate the other end of the LED light here. Well, it's not LED, it's electroluminescent to be, to be correct. And then I will leave a little bit of vinyl to overlap and tag into this. <clears throat> but I do not want to sew through this wire that's running through the middle. So what I need to do is tack it down with some tape and make sure that it stays in place because I have read on the reviews that if you glue this stuff it will damage the wire with hot glue so we obviously don't want to do that so we'll grab some tape and secure it to the very middle of the hat there let's put the tape on the wire first Then we can feed it through to our desired location and then tape it down. That should hold everything in place for the time being. I will secure this one down too so that it doesn't get yanked in an unfortunate event. not important where that lies we just want to make sure that it's anchored
So in order to make this bend, I'm going to have to remove some of this material. And I'll probably end up making a couple more cuts like this as we go around the hat too, especially in the front. I know it likes to, to uh, fold over on itself when I get around the front of the brim. But the objective now is to hit every hole that I've already previously punctured. So this light actually comes with this cap that comes on the end. You want to save that cap and don't lose it because when you cut this to length you're going to need to put that cap back on. Before I do that, I'm going to remove some of these stitches here and backtrack up to that point so that I'll have enough to overlap onto this one. Probably be a good idea to test this and make sure it still works. Well, that's good news, still works. In hindsight, I probably should have found a way to tuck this in prior to getting to this point because now it's going to be really tricky to overlap everything. What was I thinking? Yo, that's going to be awesome. Check this out. Let me take this clip off. Got some double-sided tape here. Of course, Scotch brand. It's my boys. finagle these wires up under here get them tucked out of the way maybe add just a little bit more tape kind of secure them down maybe I can double this over let's go back the other way yeah we'll figure out the details later all right let's go turn the lights off and see what it does Yo, that is sweet. That is too damn cool. Well, my GoPro died.
for my DJI Osmo 4 died. <clears throat> but here's the final result. Man, that looks amazing in the dark. And then we can just add this satin liner in there, kind of cover all that stuff up. Ha ha! Check it out! This has got to be one of the coolest things ever, you guys. You can get a pack of five of these lights off of Amazon for roughly $18 after taxes. Titleist revitalized. Did it. All right, well, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this video. Another success repurposing a hat that was doomed for the trash can. Might still be. I can just pull these lights back out and put it on another hat. No big deal. But I just had to try it. And I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So, you guys, give me a follow and a like for some more content like this. I'd appreciate it.